sources of dry matter. First of all, you need to understand what is dry matter, as abbreviated as DM. The dry matter, as the word suggests, this is the, the dry part of the fodder after water is removed. So, when you subject a sample, to get the dry matter, you take a sample of a non weight, call it N, then you subject this sample to high temperatures, you heat, you heat or you dehydrate completely, you dehydrate the sample, you remove the water and you weigh, and weigh, and the weight you get, you call it M, now the remainder, the remainder, you, sub, you, you remove the initial weight from the second weight, of course this one will be lesser because we have removed the, the water, you have a weight which is N minus M. And this is the weight of the dried sample. Dried sample. Now, if you want to get the percentage of the dry matter, the percentage of the dry matter of sample, of sample, the, the first sample N, you get as it is N minus M over the initial weight N and this one you multiply by 100 and this one you get the dry matter percentage. Now each and every folder has its own dry matter depending on the amount of water it has. What does it mean? Those the, the fodder which has more water, which is more rash, tends to have less dry matter as compared to others. Uh, this is the percentage of the dry matter and we see this is the, the dry part of the, of the fodder after water has been eliminated. Now, what, which are those sources of dry, and this dry matter, this is what we said, from this dry matter is what is where we have uh, organic and also inorga, inorganic compounds such as proteins, vitamins, carbohydrates, and for non-organic compounds we have zinc, copper, etc. Sources of the dry matter. We have the feed concentrates. Uh, this includes the seed cakes and also the air producing seeds. Uh, for example, we have sunflower, sunflower seeds, they contain also, that those can be a good source of the dry matter. Uh, we have leguminous fodder, and in this case we have lusan, we have desmodium, we have beans, beans are leguminous, they can also be used as fodder, and we also have um, other agro, forestry crops such as Cariadra, Cariadra which is most farmers use this one as a fence but the leaves can be used as fodder to feed the, the, the goats and they are rich in uh, proteins. Uh, we have grasses can also be a good source of dry matter and grasses we have various categories of grasses. We have Napier grass, we have uh, hay, we have wheat straws, which are grass. This is dry wheat. Uh, uh, and also we have maize stock. Maize stock can also be part of the, the grasses uh, and can also uh, provide uh, the proteins and also the carbohydrates and also other than organic uh, compounds. We have grains. They can also be uh, a good source of uh, DM. For grains we have maize, we have the wheat, we have the bran. This bran in most cases is a product of wheat. Uh, these are a good examples of the dry matter. When feeding the, when feeding the, the goats, both the does and the bucks, it is important for the farmer to combine 
grasses, legumes, and also the, the, the grains to, uh, to achieve uh, a good balanced diet. Now, it is, for the farmer to achieve this, there is what we call intercropping. If the farmer has grasses, he or she can intercrop. Intercrop uh, one or two, two or three uh, fodder crops. For example, for the grasses, leguminous uh, fodder goes very well. You realize a farmer is doing grass. For example, we can illustrate here. You can have your grass field. Say you have uh, you have either napier or bracaria. You have your your napier here, and most farmers tend to plant desmodium in between. In between, you can do desmodium, and here, when you are cutting your your fodder, you clear the whole the whole the whole block. So in that case, you realize you have fed your animal with a napier and as well another protein providing uh, fodder. Then the farmer can also introduce uh, feed concentrates and uh, feed concentrates basically occurs uh, in, in flour form which are manufactured. You can have uh, a portion of uh, feed concentrates just to have a well-balanced diet for the goats.